morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. Gonna jump right into it. Who recalls the original recipe of the Jell-O No-Bake Classic Cheesecake? This actually uh, was a product that came out in about 1966. I think there might have been an earlier version. I'm not positive about that. So I believe the year was 1966. The one that I remember, okay, there was a slight variation. Now, my mom made the original one in the box. Who remembers the time back in the day when you used to make this product using actual cream cheese? Okay, we're going to talk about it. There is a difference. This product was on sale recently. I want to stock up on a couple of boxes because I anticipate some visitors in a couple of months. And it's good to have this, and it's just good to have this period in case you have unexpected visitors and you get that phone call and you just want to whip something up real fast, you know, something to have with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and you could do this because you are not baking it. All right. As far as instructionally, this thing is, <laughs> pardon the pun, easy as pie. <laughs> just saying, just saying, but let's dial it back. Let's dial this thing back to 19. 66. Let me tell you something. There's a lot to be said about the original version. The original version did require you using a fresh cream cheese. Now let's go back. Let's uh, pull it up now to the time of right now, 2021. The instructions are still, are still extremely simplistic. In fact, you do not need cream cheese in the current uh, product line of this. And basically they give you envelopes, one, uh, you know, there's the, um, what do you call it, the grounded up um, graham crackers. So you already have your graham crackers in envelope number one, I believe. Envelope number two, they even put the numbers on it, so cute. <laughs> and then you beat the, um, the uh, cream cheese-like mixture, the filling mixture, the pudding mixture, whatever you wish to call it mixture. But I read somewhere, now it just says milk on this box, but I could safely tell you, I made it with low-fat milk one day. Uh-uh, doesn't fly for me. No dice. Go with the whole milk. Even another article I read on the research suggested to use whole milk if you do this. It really, really, really makes a difference. This is so funny because number there's actually number three that tells you to cut. That's similar to something that makes me laugh. I'm going to allude to when I was learning how to drive and to get my learner's permit in the state of New York many, many years ago, there was a book. <laughs> when you got your permit, it actually said in the book, do not park car on railroad tracks. Okay. <laughs> I always thought that was humorous that someone actually had to point that out and write it into the driver's manual, but this is cute. For this, it says cut. <laughs> No, I mean, how else? I mean, how else are you going to eat this, in my opinion? But I just thought that that was, you know, very adorable. There's also a section here on how to do the cheesecake bars. As far as convenience, this gets a triple A rank. Okay, five star convenience, you can't lose. But listen to what my mother used to do with the original, original one. Even with this, I'm going to try it one day in the future when I anticipate my company. I am going to use this mixture with the milk, but because I, Janet, personally found this extraordinarily sweet, too sweet for my taste, okay, I'm just saying, just saying, I would prefer to cut in, in when I'm whipping it up, a little bit of whipped cream cheese, that's a thought, to sort of tone down and offset that extreme sweetness. The other idea, see this little dollop of, it's probably a dollop on the picture of sour cream. You could dollop it, or if you prefer to cover the whole topping with it, reserve some of the crumbs for the top. You know, the um, you know the crumbs that you need to make the pie crust. Reserve some on the side, put some sour cream, and sprinkle some of the uh, crumbs on the top. But here's what my mom did. My mom she had taken, I, I think it was sour cream, and she put the sour cream on top, but she also had, she also had pineapple, crushed pineapple topping to give it sort of a, uh, you know, a twist on it and to take away 
from the too sweet, but back then it wasn't tasting so sweet. This is the difference from the 1966 version. How many out there have ever tried this at all? The original or whatever. But I still recommend, this is a case of when you are, let's say, budget time, like bare bones. If you find this thing on sale, purchase this. Because everything you need is in here. The only thing you need to do is melt down some butter or margarine that you have and just the milk requirement. That's it. A little margarine, a little milk, everything else is in here. If you do not like it so sweet, I strongly recommend that you offset it with a little bit of, you could even use van, uh, vanilla Greek yogurt on top. That's nothing. Anything to offset what, in my opinion, the difference of this filling versus the time of my mom's. Too sweet, the current one. So, I don't know, maybe you like it that way. And if you do, then that's totally fine. But for me, I just found, other than that, I loved it. Let it chill, you know, a couple of hours or whatever. And you got yourself a no-bake classic cheesecake at an affordable price. I highly do still recommend this. But you might decide to incorporate your own twist on it. And that's the beauty of this. You can do just that. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for watching. Why? Because I really do appreciate who? You. Don't forget to come back in the future for some more tips, tricks, and every once in a while, a product review. Have an amazing, fantastic, no-bake classic cheesecake. Take good care of you. Bye-bye.